In this video, I'm going to be sketching y equals minus 4x squared plus 43x take away 63 over 2x plus 3. Right, let's try and factorise that numerator. Let's see what we get. So, minus 4, 43, minus 63. We get 9. Okay, now I need to take account of that minus 4x squared as well. Okay, so I can write that. Uh, rather than writing it as x take away 9, I'll write it as 9 take away x. Okay? And then we've got 7 quarters, so that'd be 4x take away 7. Over the 2x plus 3. Okay. There's some axes. Right. Vertical asymptotes. That's when the denominator is 0, so minus 3 halves. x equals minus 3 halves. Right, where does it cross the x-axis? That's when the numerator is 0. So that will be at 9 and 7 quarters. So we'll have 7 quarters and 9. OK. Right, so how about the oblique asymptote? Oh. Where it crosses the y-axis, before I forget, that's when x is 0. So we get minus 63 over 3, which is minus 21. So I have to put minus 21 there. Right. OK. Now the oblique asymptotes. OK. So I'm going to divide numerator by denominator. So 2x plus 3 and minus 4x squared. So that's going to be minus 2x. So we're going to have minus 6x. We need 43x. So I'm going to have to have 49x there. Um, OK, so 2x into 49x uh, goes 49 halves. Right. 49 halves uh, times by 3, so 147 halves. And we need minus 63. OK. So, um, I, need, I would need to take away minus 273 over 2 in order to get there. Um, OK, so that's my remainder. And so this is equal to minus 2x plus 49 halves take away 273 over 2 over 2x plus 3. Now you can write that like this if you prefer. Okay, have it like that. So we've got a, an oblique asymptote with equation y equals minus 2x plus 49 halves. Okay. Right, now where's that crossing? So that must be crossing the x-axis somewhere over there. Right, so that's at 49 halves. And then um, that would be 49 quarters, wouldn't it? So in y is there 49 quarters? Oh, I best put that on top, actually. Right. So then you can see that the curve must do something like this in order to then tend towards What was that? Minus three halves. It's a bit better. And then our curve must do something like that up at that point. OK, so that is what our curve must look like. Now, we should also actually have checked um, 
whether our uh, curve crosses the oblique asymptote or not. So let's just quickly do that. So minus 4x squared plus 43x take away 63 over 2x plus 3 is equal to the minus 2x plus 49 halves. So multiplying up by the 2x plus 3, we're going to get minus 4x squared. We're going to get 49x. We're going to get minus 6x. 6x. And then 3 lots of 49 over 2 is 147 over 2. So we've got the 43x, the 49x, and the minus 6x, so they're going to cancel. The minus 4x squareds cancel, and so we would have minus 63 equals 147 over 2, which isn't true. Okay, they're not equal to one another, and so the curve doesn't cross that oblique asymptote.